What's going on everyone? It's Matthew Leva from Patriot Glove Company. Um, been getting asked a lot about <clears throat> how to properly break in any glove, but especially with Japanese kip. Um, when they come, they are stiff. Everything just needs to be loosened up. It's not a big deal. In fact, some people enjoy it. Um, okay, so <clears throat> when your glove comes, it's going to come pretty stiff here especially in baseball patterns. Um, if you order pro stiff, they come even stiffer, but uh, typically, here we go. So, right here, it's gonna come here where you feel like, man, this wrist is pretty tight, this and that. Well, all this leather just needs to be loosened up and broken in, okay? Um, now, as far as hinging, I've stated in a few videos, 95% of players do not play traditional one in each finger and thumb and thumb holster here. Um, typically, your index finger gets moved over to here, to your uh, ring finger, to your middle finger. Then your middle and your ring finger move over as well to where you have two in the pinky, one, your index finger here, and then your middle finger here, okay? That helps with dual hinge clothes, gives you a deeper pocket. Um, so th the reason that's of relevance is when you're breaking in a glove, <clears throat> your main portion that needs to be broken in is your heel right here. This is your heel. Now, two in the, two in the pinky, most people like a dual hinge close where it's going to hinge here and hinge here. Now, if you play all five, they typically... When you squeeze it, your glove folds over to here, and that would be a single hinge. When you're two in the pinky, it will hinge here on both sides, which is what most people prefer. So as far as the break-in period, <coughs> right here, you wanna break this up. So if you squeeze here and roll back and forth and break up this heel here, you can stretch, you can pull, Pull on your laces. You're not gonna ruin a glove. Pull, stretch, pull, stretch as much as you can. Now, when you wanna beat in a pocket, I use the proper tools and this, but you can always lay down a towel here. You can use a softball on your softball glove. You can use a baseball on your baseball glove and pound. <clears throat> but for me, right here is the easiest. Pound into that pocket there, okay? Beat that pocket back as hard as you can, um, get that going. Now, I know where my hinge is gonna be, so I'm gonna fold this right on my hinge here, and I'm gonna beat this hinge and all the way up. Now, you're gonna do that for an unteen amount of times. My secondary hinge, here on my thumb hinge, here. Hard, hard. You can't do it too much, okay? Um, breaking this up repeatedly, one after the other after the other. <coughs> Stretching in here. You want to beat this padding down in this palm. Then I run from here, here, and just work in that heel. Work in that heel. And the more you work it in, the easier it will be to close. Um, <clears throat> you can form your pocket however you want. I like, personally, I like looser fingers, so I loosen up all my uh, laces in here. Spread these out as hard as I can. Beat this pocket. <clears throat> when I'm done, I take some of our glove rub and I lather it all on the inside, <clears throat> all on the outside, and I just lay it out to dry, let it sit for a couple hours. After dinner tonight, I'll hit it again. And tomorrow when I have time, I'll hit it again. And you want to just beat those hinges, beat that heel, and you'll be game ready in a couple days. Perfect. Thanks, guys.